Uh, Latif Pleasure Coyote is with us here on Leave the Ring. Latif, are you there, brother? Yeah, I'm here. How you guys doing? Good, man. How you doing? I'm doing well. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm doing good. <laughs> Latif, nice to hear from you. Um, you got a draw on sh- on Showtime. And, uh, you know, I-, I was asked to be interviewed on another radio show called The Sports Buffet, and they asked me about my opinion about that. And my opinion about what happened in that fight was I wasn't too upset about the draw, <clears throat> but I think most people were more focused on what you said in the post interview with uh, Jim Gray. Um, and I and my answer to that was that there was a lot of emotions. It didn't obviously it didn't pan out the way you wanted it to be. But I think as human beings, we say things that sometimes we wish we could take back. Is those is that one of the things that you wish you could have taken back of what you said of Showtime? Uh, what I say about Showtime, I don't mean it. I was upset. I want when I said the fight is strong, I was so upset. Because everybody see I beat Tony Otava so bad, in high is so blocked, swell up. So I do a good job. What Tony think I'm bringing to the fight is not what I bring to the fight. I said that earlier. I say I'm coming with different plan that they don't believe. When I came there, I do the, what I say I'm gonna do. But I was so upset. I don't mean it because I've been with this show time, show box for like. Some of fights, they be building me, but they be taking, building my career up. So I was upset. Maybe I mean I working for them, so I was so upset. I said that before I realized what I said. I now, make this mistake. For now, say that, I really that. apologize. Yeah, absolutely. And I and I thought that I thought the same thing. I thought you know there's a lot of emotions, you know, and and mm-hmm. you know what, what? And I've said this when you have competitive fights. And I did mention this on the other radio show, and I want to bring it up here, bringing the light in here on Leaving the Ring, was that when you got competitive fights, when you got two guys that are looking to, to victor over each other, and they put everything, in, in, everything they have in themselves in a fight, that when the outcome is not, when you don't get the expectations of what you were supposed to get, things could, you can have a meltdown. When We've seen it on Showtime. Um, just in the past, we had Juanma uh, Lopez have a meltdown. He accused the ref. Now we have yourself with this, this almost of a short meltdown uh, you know, with Showtime. But Latif, a lot of fight fans were a bit upset with the turning of the face and, and, and talking to the cameras and sticking the tongue out and not focusing on the fight. They feel that you lost the fight, you lost some of the rounds and some of the steam because you didn't pick it up. What happened? Uh, I'm going to lose the fight because I do a good job, like I said. I do a good job for that fight, and I make sure I want to win this fight because this fight is mean to me. It's, this fight is a really fight to me. I want to show the world I'm better than Tony Otava. And I put everything I have for this fight. I put in there. I'm no preaching. I'm no gas. I have the full energy to make this fight. Whatever I will, whatever I bring to this fight, I'm ready to take it. And I did a good job. But I'm free. My, I'm not happy for what I say about Showtime because I was really upset when I say that. And nobody tell me to apologize. I feel in my heart to apologize for what I say. I'm really sorry. I'm no minute. I'm really sorry if they can fight for if they can forgive me for what I say. I'll be really happy. I hope they do. I hope they do forgive you because you definitely are putting your manager Steve Fader. I want, I want, to I'm work. sorry. I want to say one thing. This fight, a lot of people want to see the big fight in the United States. Uh, we make this fight, everybody. Some people don't go to work. They want to see this fight. See, and this fight, that, you can't just come like that and hand it to drop. No. We have to rematch. So, to bring a winner between me, Tony Otava, so let them know I win this fight. That's all. If they don't believe it's not, we still go to rematch. To so make sure to all over the world, it can't just end like that. You got, you got to come for winner. So I'm not going to respect him. He's not going to respect me. So I want to know I'm better than him or he better than me. So we have to rematch. Now, Latif, um, this fight all started because Antonio was was criticizing you from ringside watching your fights, and you were like, look, if you, if you think you can, you know, um, this is all wrong with me, uh, why don't you fight me? 
Uh, now, I don't want to fight you, but I, I do want to talk about the fight. Um, <laughs> uh, I think <laughs> you've seen me, so you know I don't want to fight you. Um, do you. Do you regret not being more physical with him early on? He's really soft around the belly. You're the harder puncher. You're the naturally bigger man. Uh, do you think you should have put him into the ropes and, and taken advantage of him physically a little bit more than you did? Yes. Yes. Now I know. Now I know everything he has. Now I know everything he has. The next one I'm gonna come with him quick. I know what he below what he have to. He can't move. That's how he fight. So now I know what to do. I know the time to stay with him. I know the time to to let him go. Just a little adjustment for what I do. That's the only thing I need. So uh, I know. When he caught you with that, he started landing the straight left. He seemed like he stumbled yeah. you one time. Did he catch you? Were you surprised? Yeah, he, yeah, he got me because when he frustrated, when he frustrated, I see him, I'm going behind the jab. Now he frustrated, he set me with two, with the right. He wants to throw the right on me. When he, when he, when he jabbed one, two, the third one, the right is coming. I move away to the, my side. So now I can see in the eyes, he frustrated because in the corner, he was shouting, Hey, double your job, double your job. Everything they tell you to do, I hear whatever they tell you to do. So I'm using everything to control. I don't want to be aggressive. I want to calm down, control the fight. And I do what I do, my job. So I thought I'd do a good job that you give me the fight because you're a champion. You have a lot of experience. So I bring it down. I let it look like it. He said, never got a cut. Nobody cut in eyes. Never swell up. I did it. I make it swell up. I bring it down, I just like control the fight on the ring. Me, so I do a good job. That's you, even with a draw. That's you use that one for crazy for me. So I do a good job. They don't give it to me. I give myself, I give myself winner. I win. So I well, would I, like for the moment. I didn't think either, either of you lost. I didn't think either of you lost. Right. It, yeah, it, I didn't it think just so either. feel like the draw in, in that sense because I didn't feel like either of you dominated long enough to say, like, I was the winner, but you certainly didn't get nominated at, at all, you know, some of you, and you, but the rounds were close, they were hip and tough. But let me ask you this. Um, do you feel like you just couldn't... This is what I wanted to know. You mentioned experience. Uh, were you, you, you mentioned experience with him. That you could, could you feel his experience? Could you tell certain things you, you didn't quite know what he was doing? Uh, were you were you afraid of like expending too much energy and getting tired because of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, I have recently have experience. I don't see experience here. He have a, he have a fastling, fastling or cocoa butter. He used it to rub his body. All my portion was neat. His body was he, he put a fastling on his body. And I told the referee, I said, Tony Otaba, he fight with the fastling. I don't want you to put fastling in the body. They told me, oh, you're not going to use the fastening. Now he put his jacket on, he come to the ring, the referee come up, box. So he took his jacket off, the referee don't see, he have a fastening in the body. All his body was, he was sleep. The punches were sleep on his body. So, I don't know, I don't know. The only thing I want to say right now, I'm really happy, I'm really happy for this fight. This man right here, you understand this man? In America, he's a five-time world champion. So they respect he have a lot of experience. He fights a lot of He fights a lot of people famous. Um, I'm, I'm from, I, I never fight nobody like that. It's my first time. And I've made it to the draw. I'd be draw. Uh, Absolutely. Baby, so you know, you, want all the match. You, uh, you certainly look like you belong. Uh, I, I will say that to you. You know, I, I didn't think you looked outclassed, and you were in there with a guy with all that experience. And good for you. You know, you work hard. I know you're a gym guy. You know, you're always in the book. I always work. So. Thank you. You're welcome. Latif, thanks for calling in, brother. Really appreciate it, man. And uh, I wish you all the best. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hopefully we'll see you fight again soon, and, and uh, you get the fight that you want. If it's not a rematch, you know, maybe it's... Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, an ESPN fight at least, or really, another case really fight. Want, I really, I really want it, man. Uh, I really apologize for so time for what I said. They should find forgiveness for me to forgive me. I'm really sorry. I won't do that again. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely, well, man. To the right people here, then. Absolutely. Thank you. 
Thank Take you. care. All right, man. Take care. Latif Coyote here on Leaving the Ring, you know, uh, apologizing to Showtime and, you know, let them know it was emotional. I mean, very emotional. Like I said, you know, uh, when you have expectations and they're not met, it can lead, you know, you can your, your mind can be a little foggy. We've seen this happen after post-conference uh, interviews immediately after. Um, things can be said. It's live. What, what, you know, what can you do? <laughs> yeah, I mean... What are you going to do? I, I don't know anything about saying things in an emotional state. 